What is going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well. Today we are going to be going over a rather interesting rumor concerning the next lineup of NVIDIA graphics cards, which is now being called the RTX 2080. That's right, I, I did not misspeak there, the RTX 2080. So we're going to get into all of that. But first, today's video is brought to you by Zero and Nine.com, where you could save money on PC games for all of your favorite platforms like Steam, Origin, Uplay, and more, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro or Microsoft Office Pro 2016. And if you use the code JOKERW at checkout, you can save 22% off your copy of Windows, which would bring the price down to $12.47, or you could use the code JOKER-S at checkout where you can save 10% on the entire website for anything you pick up over there. Please check out the link down in the description below. Now, the original source of this rumor is a friend of the channel and a person I've been following for several years now. Of course, I'm talking about Jim over at Adore TV who did a full 24 minute video detailing everything about the upcoming NVIDIA lineup, which we're gonna be discussing here in this video and giving my opinion on it and everything, but the link to his video and his channel are gonna be down in the description below. He does some really killer content on the tech space and doing deep dives into uh, rumors and just kind of his opinions on the industry. And I can't recommend his channel enough if you're a fan of the type of content I do discussing the latest GPU news and things like that. So definitely check him out with the links down in the description below and his full video on the RTX 2080, which is gonna go into a lot further detail than what we are going to do here in this video. I just really wanted to go over the rumor and everything like that. So the his source for this was actually someone that contacted him and claimed to be an employee of NVIDIA who was rather hesitant about you know, giving the information as they didn't wanna be revealed as a source and all of that. And he goes into all of this in the video, but knowing Jim and, you know, uh, how thorough he is. I'm sure he vetted this contact pretty well before going into a video with it. So I'm going to, you know, obviously it's still a rumor. Take it with a grain of salt. But there's a lot of other information here that we can kind of look at that lines up with what Jim is saying over here in this video. So for the sake of simplicity, we're going to be using videocards.com who did a write-up on this. So we can kind of just take a look at a few things that are detailed in that video. The first is the new architecture being called NVIDIA Touring, which has been rumored now for months and now nvidia has recently actually registered a trademark for nvidia touring which is the first official word we've really heard about this which makes um it seem like nvidia will use this naming scheme at some point in the future possibly in just the next few days um and they also uh, registered trademarks for quadro rtx and geforce rtx which would be a huge change going from GTX to RTX, but it would make a lot of sense as they revealed their RTX technology some months ago with ray tracing, and we kind of saw all of that, and we know it's going to be a huge feature of the next generation of graphics cards and the ones to come after that, as there are games starting to push that, like the new Metro game is going to have ray tracing in it. Um, the Metro series, by the way, has been partnered with NVIDIA for a long time. Ever since their first game, they were using advanced physics back then when it was still kind of a new-ish thing, and pushing that in both of their metro games and now once again partnering up with nvidia for the new metro game they're going to be featuring ray tracing as one of the first games that you can actually get using that technology so now nvidia has actually put it on the geforce rtx would make which would make you think that they're actually going to name their graphics cards that pretty much making the previous gtx cards obsolete unless you want you know don't want to have uh, the ability to use ray tracing, which is going to be the latest graphic feature, which is probably going to be in a lot of games. So very smart idea here from NVIDIA to go ahead and do that. Now, as far as the Adore TV video goes, he does go over the trademark and everything, but he also, but also it looks like Jensen could be revealing these as soon as on Monday, August 13th, as Jensen himself is actually going to be at SIGGRAPH 2018, which kicks off, as I said, on the 13th on Monday, and he's going to be speaking at 4 p.m. Pacific time, August 13th. And some of the biggest things they're going to be going over at SIGGRAPH, if we look here on some of the other topics for the following days, we've got NVIDIA presents GPU ray tracing for film and design on August 14th. And then on August 15th at 9.30 a.m., they're going to be talking about real-time ray tracing, probably in games as they're going to be talking with Epic Games and EA Seed. So they're going to be talking all about ray tracing, which uh, kind of lines up with what we're talking about here is it's going to be a huge feature of the new cards that they are going to be pushing for. Now, 
Jim's contact who got in touch with him showed him what looks like to be kind of like a part of an internal press deck or something like something like that, possibly a press deck or an internal document that shows RTX 2080 and some of the specs on it. And we've got a full breakdown of the entire new lineup, which they're saying is going to be the 2000 series now. It's not going to be 1180, it's going to be 2080. That's been one of the rumors which has been floating around and people have debated whether it's going to be 2080 or 1180. Um, this would seem like it's going to be possibly the 2080, uh, which would maybe make sense because when they went from GT, when they went um, from doing GT to GTX cards, um, there was a, a name jump there. So going from the 10 all the way up to 20 does kind of line up here as this is going to be a new naming scheme with RTX. Now, if we look at this this board here over on video cards, originally from Jim's video, we could see all the new cards. We've got the Titan RTX, RTX 2080, and RTX 2070. And then we've got the GTX 2060 and GTX 2050. And what that says to me is probably, if you are going to want the latest ray tracing features in your NVIDIA card, you are going to need to purchase one of the top tier cards. So 2070, 2080, or the Titan RTX, if you feel like taking out a second loan on your house, because it is saying here, as part of the rumor, it's going to be selling for $3,000, just like the Titan Volta, while the 2080 will be between five and $700, probably leaning more towards $700. And then we've got the 2070 at $300 to $500. And as far as the performance is concerned, they're saying the new Titan will be 15% faster than Titan V and 50% faster than a 1080 Ti, which is a huge upgrade. The Titan V was about 30% faster than the 1080 Ti, so that's going to be a huge upgrade, but $3,000. I mean, if they released it at $1,200, like the previous Titan cards, I might just go in for this because instead of waiting for the new Ti cards to come out, I would probably just go ahead and get the Titan Touring if it was $1,200, but based on this pricing, I don't have three grand laying around, so if I do pick up a card, it's probably going to be the 2080, which they say is only going to be 8% faster than the 1080 Ti, 50% faster than the GTX 1080, which is not a huge upgrade over the TI, which I have right now, but it's got the ray tracing and it's definitely something I want to use as I am a complete graphics whore. So definitely wanted to go ahead and take advantage of that. So if I do pick up a card, it's going to be the 2080, unless the Titan RTX price is inaccurate and they sell one for 1200, then I'd probably go in for that instead. Uh, we've also got the 2070. They said that's going to be 17% faster than the GTX 1080, 40% faster than the GTX 1070. So very interesting specs and information here on the upcoming lineup and the memory counts are also rather intriguing as it's saying the 2080 is going to have eight gigabytes the 2070 will have seven gigabytes the 2060 will have five and then the 2050 will have four gigabytes so that's very interesting that they would do that we've never really seen them do that before where it's just going eight seven five four uh it's usually like eight or six or four it's usually a pretty even number apart from when they do three gigabytes but some, uh, yeah, definitely interesting specs for these cards. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and definitely go check out Jim's video detailing this full thing as he goes really in depth with the entire thing. Um, and if, let me know, like I said, let me know your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you all tomorrow for another video. Tara, I did a double snap that time. Boy!